Coming off a Big South Series win here with head coach Justin Hare for Campbell Baseball Monday conversation. And coach, you go to Gardner-Webb, a doubleheader on Saturday, a must-win doubleheader. Try to win the series. You get a big win in game two. Mm -hmm. You clinch the series, especially with the help of your pitching down the stretch in that second game. Yeah, uh, Ryan Kirk, really quality start. Um, game three um, came out, gave us six strong, and then uh, I believe Witsack came in right after him and then and then to Messer to finish it out and, and uh, bullpen did a good job of um, kind of holding them down and our offense did a good job of continuing to add and, and uh, put up a big inning there in the fourth that, that uh, kind of got us going and then extended on to the 7-2 win and, and was able to take the series and get on the bus. Uh, happy bunch of guys and, and uh, you know for the ride home and, and ready to roll into this week. What have you thought the last four or five games in terms of the production from your offense, putting up a nice bunch of runs here as of late? Yeah, they've just been way more productive. Coach Marks and I talked about that this morning. Just uh, just our numbers uh, from from putting together quality at bats and productive at bats have been way above you know where they've been early in the year. I just think they're getting more comfortable in their roles and, and doing a better job of, of kind of uh, understanding what they need to do to to move runners along and find ways to score guys and find ways to get on and, and do that kind of stuff. And when they do that, um, we're pretty dynamic and we have a chance to score a bunch of runs gotten a taste of conference play with Gardner Webb. Now you host Charleston Southern this weekend for three big games. What's the challenge of bringing them into town and trying to continue this success in conference? Uh, it's the same challenge that, that it's been from day one, just just finding a way to compete every single day and, and not be satisfied with, with where we are. Um, you know, pretty good week last week overall, three and one. We won four out of our last five. Um, so I think we're, we're starting to to move forward, um, but but the challenge is, is to not be satisfied with any success you've had and just continue to build on that and continue to work and continue to get better every single day. And if we do that, we'll give ourselves a chance every time out. And if we don't, then we'll get beat. And and that's it's as simple as that. And, and the more our guys buy into that and the more they believe that, the more success we'll have. Due to some injuries early in the year, you've had to plug and play a little bit with your arms this year on the mound. What have you thought of how they've responded to that challenge and tried to just step up and fill different rotation spots? Yeah, it's been good. I think our guys have, have started to kind of take more ownership of the innings that they do get. We, we've been able to spread more innings out uh, among 10 or 11 guys, which is a luxury that we haven't had in the past. Um, some some knick-knack injuries here and there have forced that a little bit, but I think in the long run that's going to help us. Um, the big thing for, for those guys is to go out there and compete with confidence confidence and take ownership of, of the times that they do have the ball. Everybody wants to start. Everybody wants to close. Everybody wants to have um, those those name roles. But the biggest thing for us is I don't give I don't I don't care at all. You know what your role is: middle relief, short relief you know, late inning guy, starter, whatever. All I care about is go out there and compete with confidence. When I hand you the ball, go out there and and, and take care of your business, compete at, to, the, to the highest of your level. And when we do that, we're pretty good. When we uh, feel sorry for ourselves about this, that, or the other, we're not very good. So again, the, the, the key for us is to compete with confidence and our pitchers have been doing that lately. And because of that, we've, we've had a pretty good run here these last 10 days. Certainly another big week with Virginia Tech on the road tomorrow and then three games against Charleston Southern. So appreciate the time, Coach. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Evan. Appreciate it.